What's up, boys and girls out there in YouTube land? Got a new Terminator ATAC stock, Zombie Slayer edition colorway. Fixing to go on a uh, install gun uh, today, a PCP air rifle, caliber 22. Um, it's gonna be a whole brand new setup. I'm gonna uh, build this up right now, and then uh, we'll slap it up on the eBay store for y'all guys to go and pick it up. All right. All right. So we got this brand new uh, Avenger. Ship direct from Midway, USA. Never been open. Never been fired. She's virgin, as they say. Oh yeah. So, Avengers are pretty cool, but uh, it can always be cooler. So that's what we're gonna make it today. Take a nice rifle and just make it a little bit nicer. Actually, I should say a lot. Alright, so let's commence to tearing this puppy down. I'm gonna check the air level. It looks like it's got a little bit of air in it, so I'm just gonna uh, point it in a safe direction. Clear the breach. Make sure there's nothing in the chamber. I've uh, taken delivery of PCPs before where there's uh, projectiles in the chamber. I even got uh, one before that had three uh, pellets all jammed up in the breach. So I don't even know how they were testing it. But yeah, so you always want to just uh, clear it out. Make sure there's no projectiles in there. And then uh, go ahead and air it down before you start working on it. Safety foist, boys and girls. Safety foist. So there's just four Allen head screws holding this four end rail on. Pop DM off. Got one Allen head behind the trigger guard. And then <clears throat> one right in front of the trigger guard on the main butt stock. There she is. All right, so we're gonna do a bottle conversion on this puppy. So we'll uh, take off this triple tree by loosening up these grub screws with just a tick. So it'll slide off. And then there's probably gonna be some plastic balls in there. Careful not to lose those. right here all right let's finish the tear down on this start with the air tubes they're usually just hand snug on so they're real, real easy to take off one and a two if anybody needs any of these air tubes brand new takeoffs Check my eBay store. I'll slap them up there for you. You can use the long one to put as a third one. Uh, increase your capacity on the bullpup and on the long rifles. And then I've seen a lot of guys use the short ones just to put two short ones on, keep the weight back and uh, make it lightweight. And then uh, all you gotta do is just take this uh, cap off and then swap the end cap um, if you want to, uh, as far as for your fill port. These end caps, you can just swap it on. That way you have a way to fill if you have two small ones. All right, so next thing we can do is uh, 
take this shroud cap off. So these OEM shroud caps, they look like this, and uh, they don't really do much to deaden the, uh, the sound report from the muzzle. Alright, then we'll unscrew the uh, shroud. On these newer Avengers, they don't come with the grub screw anymore. They're threaded onto the plastic uh, um, bushing at the front of the action, which is definitely a better setup than before. Okay, and then we'll uh, temporarily remove this barrel locator. Slide that off. So to install these harmonic dampening rings, we're just going to check them for fitment. I try to ship them out a little bit tight, but yeah, the, um, you may have to file them a little bit. But um, hopefully it's a close enough fit where you can just kind of give them a smack with your palm, get them to slide on. These ones slid right on, so <clears throat> we're just going to put the, position those two in this big spot that doesn't have any uh, support so that we can't start to develop a harmonic whip through the uh, barrel. And then we'll just put the uh, OEM dampener back on as well. get those evenly spaced out between there and then we'll uh, install the final muzzle cap air stripper and then we'll just tap that on make sure it's all the way on there <clears throat> and then I'm just going to put a bit of uh, cloth athletic tape keep these harmonic dampening rings in place when I slide the shroud on and off to work on the rifle. Alright, so that's how that's going to look. As you can see, it's a lot better uh, dampened than it was from the factory. <clears throat> To, uh, eliminate all that barrel whip because these barrels they're they're really thin walled like it's not a bull barrel like you get with the crawls or like you get with the uh, some of the higher end guns like the AGT Ergens and stuff like that where it's a really thick barrel I mean these are really thin and uh, when you start pushing some power out of these to try to shoot slugs or whatever you can tend to get some uh, harmonics whip getting uh, pushed through there from the air burst but um basically like this that'll lock everything into the shroud and just keep it super tight and just eliminate all those problems and then with the uh, muzzle being centered right there you're locked in because you got an o-ring right here two o-rings two more o-rings so uh we'll just grease up all those o-rings so we can slide that shroud back on all right when we're ready to install our shroud i like to just shoot a tiny amount of wd in there a ballast all light oil lube just slide that on slide it over the muzzle locator air stripper OEM centering device and then finally the harmonic dampening rings bam it's nice and snug just thread that on Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, so for the uh, shroud to finish it off, we're going to use the uh, supplied um, baffles. There's three of them. Just slide those in there with the cone side facing out. And 
And finally the O-ring. And the short dog LDC. Should fill that bottom out right up against that O-ring, the last couple threads, and then just snug it up. <clears throat> so there's our whole shroud system, sound deadening, barrel harmonics reduce, reduction, sound deadening, and uh, we end up with a real light muzzle, so that uh, when we're using, when we're trying to utilize this out in the field, it's not starting to get heavy on us on the front muzzle when we're doing our uh, shoulder ups or just our carry around. <clears throat> The whole ATAC stock is designed to allow you to uh, get further and deeper out into the field or just stay out on the permission longer and do your work. And uh, that's why it's real lightweight and easy to carry and just real ergonomic. All right, so next thing we're going to install is going to be the, uh, the power plenum. Get 11 cc's and more uh, volume from the power plenum, and that'll allow you to uh, get more feet per second out of your tune. Now there's a 1.5 millimeter grub screw inside the block right here that if you don't loosen this up first you'll strip out the threads on the plenum cap when you try to uh, take it out. So just make sure to uh, make sure to back this grub screw out plenty of turns rotations so that it's you know it's not going to be riding against the threads And then uh, I just use a pair of needle nose pliers in these two holes on the uh, air bleed cap, which is the plenum cap, right there. And it should just come right out. And then just be careful not to scratch it up when you're loosening it out. All right, so there's the OEM plenum cap. <clears throat> We're gonna add a little bit of silicone grease to our O-ring on the new plenum, a little bit to the threads. Squirt a couple of drops of oil on the threads, and then uh, I'm gonna rub a little bit of silicone grease in there where the O-ring's gonna seat. Make sure we don't get any tears. And then yeah, just thread this in by hand. Super quick and easy install for the power plenum. But yeah, it's a real good addition. You get, uh, it'll usually cut your uh, shot spread in half, shot to shot um, uh, deviation. It'll usually cut that in half and then uh, give you a big boost in power as well. Um, some people report 25 to 50 feet per second more on the same tune just by adding the power plenum depending on what tune you're running you know for what projectile everybody will have a little bit different results based on your reg pressure and your hammer spring adjustment but then once you get that on the uh, OEM lead cap the plenum cap just screws right back onto it <coughs> Tighten up our air bleed, grub screw, the hex key, and then using the 1.5 Allen wrench, go ahead and tighten up that grub screw that locks the uh, plenum in. Don't need too much on it, it's a really small grub screw. But yeah, just snug that up. Alright, so now that we got everything all set up, as far as it goes with the front shroud, the short dog LDC kit. The uh, barrel harmonics dampening setup um, and the uh, extended power plenum. We're going to go ahead and uh, install the bottle adapter. So, just using a smidgen of uh, grease on those O rings. <coughs> Smaller air cap is going to go in the top position where the longer OEM air tube was. 
So I just thread that in by hand. And just give her a bit of a snug with a crescent wrench or a pair of channels. Nothing too crazy is required. And then uh, then after that is the bottle adapter. That goes in the lower hole right here. And then you can just position your uh, fill foster fitting on either side. I prefer to uh, position it on the same side as the uh, air gauge, not the regulator gauge, but the fill gauge. <clears throat> and then just using a spanner wrench or a crescent wrench, just snug that up. And then there's that. next thing we'll do is uh, drop on our Terminator ATAC stock, Zombie Getter Edition, starting with this adapter block at the rear of the uh, rifle action, just drop that on in place and then uh, screw in the supplied M5 screw for the rear mount adapter. Give that a little snug. Then the Terminator tack stock, Zombie Getter Edition, should drop right on. Um, there's a nice little uh, opening right here for the power plenum. Just slide right over the top of that with a real snug fit. Bam! Right there. <clears throat> and then there's two supplied M3 screws for the rear mount adapter. One on either side of the grip. Carefully thread those in. <clears throat> and then there's a 30 millimeter M5 screw that goes in the front. Let's give that a hand snug. <clears throat> then we can slap on our grip. Bear in mind that when you thread the grip on, the uh, threads are pretty good, but I wouldn't put a wrench on the end of this Allen key. All you really need to do is just snug it up because you don't want to strip out those plastic threads, but it holds plenty tight with a hand snug. All right, so there's that. Um, now we're going to go ahead and install our carbon bottle. Actually, there's two more screws on the sides here. There's a, another short M5 screw right there, and one on the other side. And that's the last of the mounting hardware. So, the alignment's all pretty good. Just make sure, don't start cross-threading anything in. And then, uh, just snug those up. Just like so. Alright, and then, uh, here we have our uh, Avenger Mega Band and then our uh, carbon fiber 300 bar bottle. Now this bottle right here is a 420cc carbon bottle. Um, you know obviously you can go 500 or 700cc bottles but um, I prefer to just keep these uh, kind of like um, on the lighter side you know so uh, this is like for me, this is going to be like a field uh, PCP, so I don't really want to add like the biggest and heaviest and most front heavy stuff to it. So uh, my whole deal is keep it fun to use and light, but this is still like, I don't know, probably like three times as much air as uh, you would get from the OEM air tubes anyway, so it's uh, definitely pretty legit of a bottle size. But yeah, I do have 500cc bottles. I've got. 360 cc bottles. I got 220 cc bottles. So yeah, just let me know um, if you want something different, and uh, maybe I can accommodate. Okay, I gotta grab an O-ring for the ball. Oh no, there's already an O-ring on the. Uh, it comes with the adapter kit. So 
We'll just thread that on. And all that's required on these is just to hand snug them up real firm. That's all it takes. <clears throat> then we'll install the uh, front bottle support. Just slides right in there. Lines up with the... Uh, poles on the fore end rail. Just get everything lined up and then using the supplied M3 hardware. Now on this thing there's a uh, there's hex head nuts one on each side so this uh, support takes one screw from each side to tighten it onto the bottle. So just check to make sure you're going into the proper holes. And then, uh, yeah, it'll snug it up real nice. It's all snugged up. It's on there real firm. That supports the bipod rails. And then lastly is our uh, Air Venturi Avenger Mega Band. So I'll pop this uh, LDC back off. Slide this puppy on. She's pretty snug without even tightening the hardware, but uh, that's what you want. And then we'll go ahead and snug up this hardware, lock everything down. She ain't gonna budge. Just see that mega band. Slap the LDC back on. Bam. And there you have it, boys and girls. And there you have it, boys and girls. Brand new Aventuri Avenger, caliber 22, Midway USA, and then uh, got the Terminator ATAC stock, Zombie Slayer edition. Got the uh, Avenger Mega Band on front, 400 cc carbon bottle, 300 bar fill, full barrel shroud setup, short dog LDC for suppression, adjustable length of pull, rubberized grip. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can uh, throw some air in her. Make sure she don't got no leak. Okay.
just wanted to check that <clears throat> foster fitting, make sure it was snugged up. Sometimes from the factory out of the box they're a little bit loose, so yeah, I just snug that up. Let's throw some air in there. Fill it slow the first time because it's a full fill. You don't want the air just to rush in there. It might mess up this little foster fitting. There's an O-ring in there. and You can kind of uh, push those through the orifice if you throw the air in there too quick. Alright, this bottle has about 2500 PSI. So I'll throw it up to there. Check it for function. Woo! She's a runner. Nice and quiet, too. Okay. Let's check the velocity that she's kicking. So first we'll check her out with JSB 18s. Nine thirty with JSB eighteens. So to adjust the hammer spring on these, we're just going to loosen up this lock ring. And the grub screw for the uh, buffer tube. Unscrew the buffer tube real quick. Then from there, there's an access hole for the uh, hammer spring adjuster. I actually built up this long T handle to uh, adjust the hammer spring. That way, I can leave my butt stock on and just stick it through the back. But that's just an idea for you guys if you wanted to do that or you can just use a ratchet with a hex head socket at the end of it um, just make a hole in the back of this and you can just stick it through there to adjust your uh, hammer spring without taking it apart so let's see where we're at now eight six nine er Went a little bit too much on there. Eight ninety. Up, oh, not a lot of pellets. Nine oh one, nine oh three, eight nine three, eight nine four, nine oh four, nine eleven. 907, 910. So we'll just leave it at that and then we'll just shoot her for a while, let her break in. I'll go ahead and reinstall the uh, buffer tube.
if any of you guys have a buffer tube tool, you can use that, or you can just use a pair of uh, channels on that lock ring. Then just go ahead and sn snug up the uh, grub screw, which is ten in intended to keep it from spinning. All right. So yeah, we got a uh, velocity set at around eight, uh, 910 for JSB 18s, which allows you to run like um, probably Barracudas at like 890, and then uh, you'll have a gang load of shots. I backed off the hammer spring from the OEM setting, so there's plenty more hammer spring to uh, tune it hotter, especially since you got the power plenum. You can run um, slugs out of here now. You can run heavier projectiles, and then you could back her, back her off you know even more to run the lighter weight projectiles like the Hades or the 16 grain Hades or the 14.3 uh, grain uh, Crossman hollow points or domes and then sip air just get like gang loads of shots but yeah um, pretty good setup real ergonomic very light easy to shoot off hand easy to carry in the field. Um, I like to put a, a Magpul single point sling on the front of this pick, pick rail and then just run my single point sling on there. Maybe I'll show you guys that real quick. Alright yeah so I'm not going to ship this out with a scope but I've got to slap a proper scope on there just to see how everything looks. I like to run these Magpul single point sling attachments on the front part of the pick rail because it gives you a real good balance to carry. Slap that on right there. Bam! Carries real nice. Ready to deploy as needed. Can leave her hanging in the front, on the side, in the back. Just keep the weight off of you. But yeah. Um, Zombie Getter Edition, Aventury Avenger ATAC. Check my eBay store. And uh, also, if you uh, have Gauntlet 1 or 2, we've got stocks. If you got Umarex Origin, we've got stocks. We've got all the colorways from black, gunmetal gray, desert tan, zombie green, high vis yellow. Hive is orange, red, we got blue, oh man, yeah, maybe a couple other ones, but yeah, um, anything you need to personalize your uh, setup and just uh, <clears throat> get the Aventuri Avenger a little bit more useful and a little bit more uh, cool looking. So unscoped weight on this, 7 pounds, 7 ounces, complete with a bipod, um, stainless bottle adapter, and 420cc bottle, and LDC. So, uh, yeah, 7 pounds, 7 ounces. Um, add a scope on there, you'll be about 8 and a quarter, 8 and a half, something like that. And uh, be real easy to uh, manage and um, real nice to use. <clears throat> 